Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. Hello world, I'm Chris Perillo. On a New Year's Day, we're going to try the live stream again after YouTube decided to intermittently burp during last night's live broadcast. I'm likely going to keep that video up, if only for posterity. If you guys want me to take it down, let me know. If you want me to keep it up, let me know that as well. Just go ahead and leave a comment here. And thank you to all 200 people who are spending a little bit of time on this New Year's Day with me for the rebroadcast of the New Year's Day Ask Me Anything subservient Chris. So what does that mean? Uh, well, if you guys want to send along a gift card, you can. The link is in this video's description. And don't worry, we're going to be giving away a gift card as well. Should I do that now? That would be quite a New Year's Day gift for Harry Creter, who is the recipient of this week's Feature Points Amazon gift card. All he did was tweet about Feature Points, and he used his referral link and then included me. If you want to get Free Amazon gift cards, free gift cards for iTunes, uh, possibly even PayPal money, uh, free apps that would normally cost you money. The easiest way to do it is by way of go.tagjag.com slash free points. Use that on iOS or Android, US or UK. Uh, it's it's never going to be any more difficult than that or easier. It'll, it'll be, I, I guess it kind of could be easier-ish. Well, either way, thank you, Ernesto Aviles for tuning in. Uh, Andrew C. saying, I'm alive indeed, and I'm glad to see you are as well. Where are you guys tuning in from? I'm here in Seattle, where it's a bit hot here in my home office. I've had the lights on for a little while, and despite them being LEDs, it does get a bit warm in here. And yes, I did upload my uh, home office tour for 2014 already today, and that seems to be uh, doing quite well, I would say, quite well received. So, uh, all right. Uh, we've sent out the push notification, the free push notification by way of the Locker Gnome app. If you want to know when I'm live streaming, there's never going to be an easier. I'm just all about easy today. Really, easy. That's my middle name. Don't update my Wikipedia page, please. I'm sure someone will now. All right, let's answer a few questions here while we wait for the uh, other donations to roll in. And don't worry, I'll cover what we uh, uh, people had donated last night and their requests. Because you can ask me to do anything, right? Ask me anything and ask me to do anything. 5% Milk asked, what happened to the Ustream? Well, uh, I mentioned this in the um, home office tour that was uploaded today. Uh, it's on a hiatus. I'm not exactly sure what I want to do with it, uh, but I'm thinking that when Ustream pushes out an update, I may very well use one of my Android phones and stream from that, like during the day, during my normal quote-unquote office hours. So it'll be on and off uh, throughout the day. And then if and when I get going on Twitch TV playing uh, Tetris through it, if I happen to be streaming live. So Ustream uh, is great. It's fantastic for what it is, but I, I just I haven't streamed a lot of my home office ever since I started doing the vlogs. El Nico asks, have you ever smoked pot? Wow, uh, I'm really sweating now, aren't I? Uh, I almost want to take off the Darth Vader hoodie, but I don't. <laughs> I won't. Um, I live in the state of Washington where that happens to be legal, and that's all I'm going to say about that right now. Trevor Lavalie, are you going to buy the new Mac Pro to replace your old one? Well, I don't plan on buying it myself, but I have been looking into sponsorship, so it is possible that next year these two 30-inch monitors will be gone, replaced with a 4K monitor connected to a new Mac Pro if the sponsorship comes through. I've got my fingers crossed for Corey Brown and Jim to come through for me. We will see. Uh, stay tuned for that. Of course, we'll be doing unboxings and, and uh, you know, a review and all sorts of fun stuff if that happens to come to fruition. Jonathan Lee asks, is the Surface RT good for kids? Ah, uh, well, it depends. If someone give it to you, sure, it's, it's good for kids. But uh, if, if, if it's a budget that's uh, concerning you in terms of what's going to be good for a kid, I would say for your money, you're better off spending that cash on a Kindle Fire and getting Amazon's, it's not a, it's not called the kids service, but what is it, free play, free time, uh, one of those two. And uh, what you can do with that is uh, the kid can watch uh, uh, videos or, or shows and download apps and not have to worry about ads or payments. Um, it, it's really the best tablet for kids today. The, the Amazon Kindle Fire, specifically with their uh, kid-oriented subscription service, nothing comes close. So I, I don't exactly know why you're asking about the Surface RT in relation to kids. If it's to get them interested in technology, I would say no, not the Surface RT. I would... 
probably pushing more towards a, a Raspberry Pi or potentially something in the Arduino universe. Two different things, really. Um, a Raspberry Pi more for you know getting people uh, or getting kids going kind of with software tweaking and, and, and making software make the hardware go. And Arduino more about the hardware end of things. And I realize it's kind of like a high level overview of each of those platforms. Rob Schott asks. <laughs> I'm going to slaughter your last names today, guys. You're just going to have to get used to that, and hopefully you don't mind. Uh, he asks, have you ever been to the Netherlands? I have not. I've kind of been in that general region, but not specifically the Netherlands. Uh, looks like we don't have any errors going on right now, which is fantastic to see. All right, I'm just checking to see if you guys are getting everything. I am not smoking anything right now. I'm just sweating. An awful lot, too. By the way, thanks again for remembering to like comment, subscribe, share, and after you're done watching this video, watching another one of our videos. All right, let's go to the subservient Chris requests by way of the Amazon gift cards that most of which happened to be submitted last night. Uh, we've got a $5 donation here from Sruli, and he says, I would like 100 new subscribers to my YouTube channel, youtube.com slash Tech." Tips. I'll be sure to link that in the video's description. Okay, there you go. Thank you for the donation. A $15 donation comes from someone. It says someone. Um, oh, Killian Dolan. Hey, a uh, huge fan of yours, and my dad is as well. He loves the fact that uh, you live on the other side of the world and uh, are a great person, really. Uh, and he, he loves connecting with you on Facebook. So I've shown you a tour of my room studio in the past video. This is what Killian says. But now, as a second video of 2014 here, my recording editing setup showing you what I use to record my videos and edit them for you to view. Well, thank you very much, uh, especially for the custom image there. Thank you, Chris. Well, thank you, Killian. I do appreciate all the support. Uh, we also, and I'll sh uh, put those links in the description for everybody to see as well. $5 donation from The Real Wheeze on Instagram. And that's his handle, The Real Wheeze. Thank you. Really do appreciate that. We use a lot of the Amazon gift cards to get groceries, so you're feeding us. <laughs> you're, you're helping us eat on a monthly basis when you uh, submit it for me to do anything. Really, you guys, you can ask me to do anything, and this is what you get with the uh, gift card, uh, I guess, uh, submission. A uh, $50 donation from, looks like, Andrew Epperson. Thank you so much. Uh, really do appreciate that. He just uh, says, no request. Consider it an early birthday gift to Diana, and I don't know where the hell she is right now, so. Uh, but I'm sure she appreciates that. She'll be able to eat, and uh, I think we all appreciate that, really. Uh, let's see here. I'm double-checking. I got I got to keep an eye on, like, 13 different things. Not only am I talents, but I'm director, producer, uh, geek, it all mixed into one. Back to some of the questions here. We have one from Stonewall Spear. Are you a Redditor? I am not, uh, but I do like what I find on Reddit, generally speaking. Uh, fun stuff. Uh, if I had the time, I would probably be a Redditor. Uh, we have one from James Tamim. What are your general thoughts on God and religion in general? Do you side with Richard Dawkins? Well, I don't know if I'd say I side with Richard Dawkins, but I happen to agree with a lot of what Richard Dawkins says. That being said, uh, if you have a religion and it's your personal thing, it's like your choice for a smartphone platform. Yeah, it's your thing. I'm not here to tell you you're doing something right, wrong, whatever. Uh, it's your choice. And so I, I, I am not someone who happens to subscribe to religious theories in general. But for the most part, you know, if you use uh, religion as a, a moral compass, as long as you're not hurting other people and I impinging uh, on their own belief structures, I, I think, uh, hey, knock yourself out. I mean, not physically or Mentally, really. I'm just saying, hey, your religion's your religion, uh, or a lack of religion is, uh, I think, just as much of a religion, seemingly. <laughs> Even though I don't subscribe to that either. All right, I'm agnostic, if you couldn't tell. We've got a question here from James Girl. Chris, what will you do differently in the new year? I don't know what, if anything, I would do differently other than, uh, you know, continue down the path that, that I've been going down. Uh, with uh, content on YouTube, doing these live shows at least once a week, uh, doing hardware giveaways. We've got some Intel tablets, or specifically Android tablets, to be giving away. i still got a couple left in this next round. Um, what else? What, what am I going to do differently? I, I want to start selling geeky goods. Like, you know, you could buy your own Darth Vader hoodie from anywhere, but if you get it through me, maybe we'll... Uh, I'm trying to throw in some bonuses like mentions or social teases or, uh, you know, the Perillo promise where you know it's going to be super soft. So uh, uh, stay tuned for more information on that. I don't know if you visited LockerGnome.com as of late, but we're finding all sorts of geeky stuff 
on a regular basis for you to get. Yosef Matusi asks, what do you think is the next big thing in 2014? Well, watches seem to be the big thing in 2013, and all of them kind of sucked. Um... If anything, I would like to see, and by the way, if you watch the other live stream, I'm probably repeating myself with these answers because, you know, I really believe them. Uh, th I'd like to see uh, 3D printing take hold even more than it has. It's kind of been this gimmick to this point. Uh, it's still pricey, still really difficult to use, but if, if someone can come up with a very user-friendly, like insanely user-friendly 3D printer, uh, I think it's it's got a chance. Of course, that may be a few years out since we've had 3D printers for quite a while, but you never know. Vinny Sims, since you have an iPad, what would you name it, Chris? I'm thinking of renaming my iPad Praetorian, just like the Praetorian Guard. I don't know why. It's a cool name. Cool P word. You know what else is a cool P word? Perillo. Love that word. Um, Robert Dockham asks on YouTube here, Chris, how do magnets work? I don't know. It's magic. That's, that, as far as I know, no one's ever proven how magnets work. I'm kidding. Magnets, how do they work? I'm not a, you know, if you are an insane clown or in their posse, more power to you. Isaac8162 asks, have you ever heard or used Buckyball, Zen Magnets, Nanodots? What is it with magnets today? Or similar products? Thoughts? Uh, I never have. Well, actually, no, those, uh, I try to stay away from any kind of strong magnet anywhere, if only because I have magnetic media around, like the old hard drives, and I don't want to accidentally erase anything. Uh, but I have, and they're fun, as long as I'm not around any kind of electronic equipment. Um, generally a fan. Those, uh, you know, you, you throw them up in the air, and they slap together, those two little long, and they... They're, like, called monkey balls or something like that? I don't know. MK, Tommy, nice gifts you gave Chris and Diana. I agree. In fact, one of the things I showed in my home office, I'm not going to open. It was that nice. Uh, the sticker, I'm not sorry, sticker, uh, the uh, Darth Vader coin, or I'm sorry, just coin collection with the Darth Vader figure on it, uh, I, or it, you can put the coins in it. I'm not going to do that. I don't want to open it because it's it's very valuable to me, Tommy, specifically because you gave it to us. Uh, all right, next question here. Tom Mangleshots, what are your New Year's resolutions? I don't really have any. Uh, I don't really, uh, I look forward to a new year, but I don't necessarily reset my life every January 1st. Uh, you know, I do my best to improve my life and lifestyle as the year goes on, so I don't really have any resolutions. Other than to quote Weird Al Yankovic, my New Year's resolution is 1024 by 768. You can quote me on that, but it's not me who said it. It was Weird Al Yankovic years ago, and I thought it was hilarious. So I'm I'm taking his quote. I'm, I'm using it. All right, next question. Andrew Butler, do you remember the first minifig of your collection? That would be the ghost minifig, the first ghost minifig. I don't know if... I know! Actually, I can guarantee it wasn't the first minifig I had. I had, before LEGO had the minifigure as they call them that, there were figures that had n no arms, but kind of bumps for arms and didn't really have legs, but a, a brick that was uh, pants-shaped, for the lack of a better word there. Uh, and I had that, and I, I can't find it. I only found pieces of it, unfortunately, pieces. Lego, hello. Uh, but I would I would like to have an original pre-minifigure minifigure eventually, but at this point, the earliest one that I still have is the ghost minifigure from years ago. Beth Baker Armstrong, do your fans annoy you? Uh, you do not. Uh, you know, and there are times when I, I think you kind of want to veer off topic when there is a topic at hand, like a photo of Darth Vader, you know, if you start talking about, you know, uh, a phone. I, I, I really don't want to talk about a phone right now. <laughs> Stay on topic. That's the only thing I think gets a little annoying. But, you know, hey, if, if someone were, you know, in, in your class, let's say, and, and they were asking a question that was completely irrelevant to the flow of conversation, you'd probably be annoyed too. But that's less about being, you know, annoyed by the fan, just more annoyed by the action of a fan. So, no fans do not annoy me. Never, never really have and, and never will. Joseph's Daily Vlog on YouTube says, hey man, I vlog too now. Awesome. Uh, I'm glad you could uh, join us virtually with the uh, vlogging support there. Next question, Pasha Donashek. If you were a color, which one and why? I would say red. Red is a power color. I'm, I've always been a fan of red. If you, if you could, even as a kid, red was my favorite color. That's, uh, I don't think that's ever going to change. All right, back to the Amazon gift card submissions for subservient. Chris, what other requests do you have here? Tony Ross sent a $10 donation. You're surprisingly entertaining to someone that doesn't have cable. Well, thank you. It's not really a request, but uh, I will do my best to continue that in the coming year. $2.50 from S. Ruley going for round two. Use Windows Vista for a full day, including editing video. No, your alternative request, because I have the ability to deny, happens to be lick the iPad Air. 
And I really did. I, I, I licked it. It's... He donated. Uh, we've got someone who sent us another $5 gift card. Hi, Chris. Sorry. This is all I could give. Dude, don't worry about it. The fact that you're watching, engaging, sharing, whatever you're doing, I'm very, very happy. I'm very, very grateful. Keep it up. Uh, I'm a video editor and entrepreneur. Do you have any advice for me to get started at 16 years old? Well, I'll tell you what. Uh, just keep going. Start. Go. Uh, you're going to have to change as you go along. Uh, you know, th There's always going to be something new that's happening. You just adjust and, and move on. Uh, will you shout out my YouTube channel? I will. Just look up Auto Singer on YouTube.com slash Official Auto Singer. That's Auto's username. So there you go. There's your shout out. Back to the questions here as we uh, roll down the, the predetermined list to make sure that we had enough questions during this live broadcast. Stream seems to be good. No, 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 no drops yet, right? No, no drops. Tell me there are no drops. Did I, did I accidentally drop everything? I dropped everything, didn't I? <laughs> I think I accident. Did I accidentally kill? It? I'm not. I didn't accidentally kill it, did I? I'm always worried when I do anything on the computer. Now that's, as you get older, you get more worried about touching buttons. Uh, where do you get all the money to get all your gadget asks or gadgets asks Thomas March Marsh Connors. Yes, by the way, I do have my live streaming juice with me. Hang on. Hmm. I sell my old gadgets and or, uh, you know, usually get review gadgets. Uh, so the, the gadgets that I buy, I, I resell to be able to afford uh, new gadgets. That's usually how it goes. Because I don't, uh, as many of you see, I don't hold on to a lot of the old gadgets because they become worthless like a year down the road. I, I They mean nothing to me. Think about that. You know, if you have it, yeah, did you get a gadget three years ago that you still care about? It's a possibility, but most geeks probably going to say no to that. Uh, all right. Michael Downing, what are you most looking forward to in the next year? Products, entertainment, TV or movies, or in general life? Well, Michael, I would say Rebels, the new animated cartoon that they're producing. And I'm very, very happy because uh, it's a story arc that takes place between the prequels and, of course, the original trilogy of Star Wars, which I am a fan of. And Darth Vader may very well be in this one. Yay. Mm, let's see here. Uh, Clive Halperin, will you be buying, this is what he asks, will you be buying Google Glass in 2014? Not likely. I'm still waiting for the price to come down. In terms of using it, it, it when I get it, and I think it's when, uh, it, it'll be built into my frames or lenses. I, I want it just built in like right there. I've always dreamed of that though, just even having the, the time like always there. I really have. Like years ago before Glass was even known, uh, I always thought, wouldn't it be neat to have a, a just a, just a simple clock right up there? It'd be great. Uh, Tyler Miller, why did you go Mac? Well, you might remember it was because of Windows Vista that ultimately drove me there. Although I was still playing with, I was playing at that time with uh, OS X, just kind of uh, dipping my uh, toes in the water at that time. But uh, the impetus to you know really go and give uh, the world of OS X a shot was uh, Windows Vista. I wasn't very happy with the direction that Windows was going. Windows 7 was a great improvement over Vista from you know my experience, but you know Windows 8 just kind of like said, well, you know, I'm kind of glad I made the decision I made when I made it. Robin Fagerstrom, uh, what is the biggest difference between iOS and Windows? Well, iOS was optimized for a touch experience, a mobile experience, a device like an iPhone or an iPad, something portable, something touch-oriented, uh, whereas at this time, Windows doesn't really know what it's optimized for. Is it optimized for tablets, computers, laptops, desktops? We don't know. Nobody seems to know. Microsoft wants it to be, to be the same thing, to be optimized for everything, and I think that's where it's failing in the marketplace. I'm not, I'm not saying... I'm not projecting that. That's just, there's an act, numbers can back me up on this, okay? People are buying fewer and fewer PCs and more and more tablets, running Android, uh, running uh, iOS. You know, it's I, I got nothing against Windows. Uh, you know, I, hey, I'm a guy. It's an operating system. I really don't care. <laughs> I'm not, it's, I do not have a vested interest in taking anything down. Paul Sheriff asks, best game you've ever played? Tetris, although I'm kind of hooked on Millipede too. Tetris I like with a controller. Uh, Millipede, I, of course, I like with the rollerball and the uh, my coin op, or doesn't really run on coins, but my arcade machine in the home office that you've seen in the tour. Chris, what was your opinion of my hat? Asks Tommy NC twenty ten. Ah, it was great. I'm not really a hat like that type of hat wearer, but it's really nice to have. You know, when I need to get dressed up and have that hat, uh, it's it's there, and I appreciate uh, you sending it along because it's been a part of your world and now it's a part of mine. 
Colin Tawney, what helped you get the proverbial ball rolling when you started out on your own? I think having the support of friends, even though had they had no idea what the hell I was doing, I had no idea what the hell I was doing. Just knowing that I wasn't doing it alone was a great help. I, I, I don't like doing everything alone, believe it or not. And so it's always great when you have help. When you don't have help, uh, life kind of sucks. You got to think about that for a second. I like being on my own at times, right? We all like being alone at times. But uh, when it comes to getting work done, you got to have help. So I was grateful to have friends back in the day. They gave me that, that feeling of support, even if they weren't directly involved. Uh, Anna Chowdhury, have you lost your virginity yet? Well, a oh, I'm sorry, Anus. A anus? Anus? A-N-A-S. Is that Anus? A anus Chowdhury, have you lost your virginity yet, is what Anus asks. Uh, I have not lost my virginity. I know exactly where I left it. Joseph Diddle Cruz, when I see people talk about large Android tablets, it seems the Nexus 10 is still on top of most people's lists. Have you changed your opinion on that? I have not. And the Nexus 10 was, it was, it was okay. It wasn't, I didn't think great. Even for the price, it wasn't that great. The Nexus 7 was a better value and a better tablet, really. I've been really, really happy with Intel's Android tablets. Uh, been uh, using the uh, the Samsung Galaxy Tab 3, the 10 inch, or 10.1 inch on the, the Intel platform, and that is, it's really exceeded expectations. So uh, if I were to choose one tablet over the other, I'd probably go with that that tab, in turn or the tab, that tablet, uh, over other tablets that are in the Android universe at this point. That may very well change at some point. But again, as you heard me answer the question earlier, it depends on use, right? Or use case. For If, if it's for kids, Kindle Fire. You know, if it's just for, you know, the workaday stuff, I'd probably go with the, the, the Galaxy Tab. Naomi Hunt, do you think, this is what Naomi asks, I'm, I'm starting with their names if that wasn't clear to you guys already, do you think that the grand, that Grand Admiral Thrawn should be in the next Star Wars film and who would you cast in that role? Well, I, I, would, I don't know who I would cast. I would choose, personally, choose to cast someone no one knows, right? So they don't come with any baggage. They don't come with any preconceived notions or a character actor they just they just become that person right or that character uh but yeah sure would i like to see grand admiral thrawn in the well, i'm just hang on let me sip of this good stuff box wine i mean boxed live streaming juice i i think that uh it'll be very difficult for fans to embrace anything that happens in the next series of movies uh, that are in the Star Wars uh, universe or galaxy, Grand Admiral Thrawn, of course, uh, you know, came onto the scene years ago, eons, really. That uh, you know, I, I, I always imagined what he looked like, and I don't know if my imagination can match what could be produced in a movie. I don't know. So I, it's it's difficult for me to answer that question other than put an actor in there I've never seen a fa his face before. Nicholas. Pr Praetorian, I'm sorry, Petrosian, I'm thinking, I got Praetorian on the brain. Chris, will you ever do a full Lego collection tour? Probably not, because I have quite a few of them scattered about the house. All right, let's go back to the Amazon gift card donations and requests. Billiam Castle sent $20. Please enjoy some pho on me. Well, we will, thank you, even though I don't know if we can get pho, we can get ingredients for pho on Amazon, so we can do that. Uh, what's your favorite in the SeaTac area? I'm from the same locale. I, uh, uh, Jenny is good. Uh, you know, honestly, I, I, I always like the hole in the walls, right? If they're good. Although we've gone to a couple hole in the walls and they've been horrible. Like they give you like this much meat when you ask for, you know, meat. Or they give you this much lime when you ask for lime. Or can I get some extra basil? And then they bring out like a leaf. So um, it depends, right? Um, I, I tend to go from uh, to the ones that are less than mainstream. And the hole in the walls seem to be the tastiest. Made with love. Na Nathan LaPlante. Will you be... Oh, I'm sorry. Nathan La... Oh, yeah, yeah. LaPlante. I was going to say Laplante. <laughs> All right, Nathan. I'm sorry for slaughtering your name. Will you be filming a 2014 office tour? Did. Why not make it a full house tour? Because I do that on my birthday every year. Matthew Dunn asks, will, when you have kids, will you name them something out of Star Wars? Eh, it's a possibility. I, I, you know, I think uh, it is a distinct possibility. I don't know. We'll, we'll, we'll see what happens when it happens. Oh, I forgot. I should go back to the Amazon gift card submissions. Kenny Oshita, because they, you know, they donated stuff that helps us eat. <laughs> $25 from Kenny Oshita. Chris and Diana, happy new year. Well, thank you and happy new year to you as well. 25 cent donation from Percival by Diana, a gumball. Um, I could get that for a dime. So I'm going to pocket the other 15 cents if you don't mind. Uh, we have another submission here from 
someone who goes by the handle Better Said. My donation is to thank you for your continued awesomeness. Uh, thank you. I, I didn't realize I was that full of awesomeness, even though it didn't sound like I said awesomeness the first time around. This is what you do when you're doing live streaming on YouTube. Favor, you'll make my year if you install my iPhone app and give it a quick spin. It's called Treasures of Egypt. All right, I will. As soon as I get a moment, I absolutely will install Treasures of Egypt. Why not? Because I think it's free. So everybody, install Treasures of Egypt. There's your chance. Play a game. Have fun. Uh, unless you don't like having fun. In which case, I don't know what you're doing here. Denny Serrano asks, bacon or coffee? Today, I'm going to say coffee. Skylar Burnham asks, do you have any big plans for 2014? Vlogger Fair take two? Yes, Vlogger Fair 2, or 2014, uh, will likely be happening in August here in the Seattle area. Stay tuned for more information on that. Maybe, you know, we had a lot of young girls there this last time, uh, but I want to see if we can do more for geeks in general. I want to see if I can find some geeky gamer or just geek vloggers. I think I'm about the only geek vlogger out there, really. Um, I don't know, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I just haven't met the right people or haven't been connected to them. Hopefully that'll change. We will see. Efrain M. Kuhis asks, which Darth Vader collectible do you not have but desperately want? I don't know. Take a look at my wish list. Go.tagjag.com slash wish list. Whatever's there is, is likely what I want. Most desperately, but I don't yet have. Chris, what is your opinion on Hollywood? Yeah, Hollywood's there, but I think it's, it's kind of going away. It's going to take about 10, 20 years, and I think the value of it is going to dissipate. I know people in L.A. probably think I'm nuts for that. Wow, so much spam in the comments. You know, I just kind of ignore it. Aaron Asardorian. Uh, I, uh, I apologize again for slaughtering your name. Waldemar Jimenez asks, Do you have a video on your home network? How is it set up? It's just a general home network. Uh, we got cabling going through the walls. You know, plug in a, uh, an Ethernet cable and, or a network cable or uh, whatever into the Ethernet port. And I'm off to the races. Or it's Wi-Fi, and it generally works, especially today. Things seem to be fine. Jack Elliott on YouTube asks, What is your opinion on Office 2013? Uh, I think it's fine. I think it's overpriced today because I use uh, free Office software. You know, hello, Google Drive. I can use that and access it from anywhere. And I'm just as happy with that as I ever had been with Office, minus Outlook. Uh, but then again, I use an exchange server that I pay for, and I pay for my own email address, chris at perillo.com. Jason Thomas sent a $15 donation. If you wouldn't mind just saying hello to me on the live stream, that would be awesome. Also, have you seen the complete owl? Well, hello there, Jason Thomas, and thank you for the $15 donation. And yes, I have. I've seen pretty much everything that Weird Al Yankovic has produced. Chris, sorry, I was getting a little... <clears throat> I don't know. What the hell was that? It was, uh, snotty? That, that sounds bad. I was getting uh, mucusy. Uh, flimmed up? Mm. Someone who went by the handle Griff said uh, he submitted a $15 donation. Thank you for that. Just wanted to wish the two of you the best time that you can have in 2014 after being inspired by you. I really got into tech and have now just earned my degree in IT. I'm now getting paid to help people and develop new solutions for problems, kind of like the old chat room days. But now with a paycheck. That's awesome. I'm very happy to inspire you to make money and be happy and satisfied with your life and your career. Jim Hamill asks, what is your take on the technological singularity and are you a transhumanist? Uh, so I think it's inevitable. I think uh, machines, computers, these electronics will eventually be smarter than us. I think that uh, it'll happen. In my lifetime, I don't know. Possibly. Towards the end of my lifetime. Uh, will that be disaster for humanity? I think it's just going to cause us to rethink what and who we are and what we do and what we're doing, really. Technology can free us. I, honestly, it's, it sounds idealistic, but I, I am hoping for a Star Trek type of future for our world. Derek Christner, what is the next for Apple? The iWatch? We don't know. Uh, I, I can imagine that it's going to be something... That's going to tie everything else together. Does, is that a watch? I don't know. I'd like to see uh, more home automation stuff coming from Apple, maybe through an acquisition. William S. L. I'm sorry, William L. Shook asks, "What may you decide to live in Seattle? Uh, like the weather, love the people, uh, we love the way of life. Uh, you know, it's uh, comfortable. 
Um, it, it's not a rat race. You don't feel like you're you're freaking out every five minutes, other than you know if you're Chris Perillo and then you freak out all the time, uh, whether or not a camera happens to be on you. The uh, I think the drive was just a, you know I, I didn't like anywhere else that I had lived, and I had lived in a variety of places over time, and I was just looking for something that I, I could be happy where I could be happy, and I, I was very very happy here. Jake Eager sent a fifty dollar Amazon gift card. Wow. Hey, Chris, it was great meeting you and Diana in New York City, and I hope you come back soon. Just wanted to shout out. There's your shout out, Jake. Thank you again for connecting with us in New York. When I travel, I like meeting people like yourself, people who are part of this little world that I guess I'm I'm also a part of. We're, we're kind of a part of each other's worlds. I'm not going to break out in song, though. Don't worry. And by the way, I'm, I'm looking at like three different things. Uh, talking about multitasking. Do you ever think to work to Google or Apple... Uh, asks Elias Asmar, I, would I like to work for Google or Apple? I would. I, if I could, I'd take the opportunity, sure. I don't know what the hell I'd do. I don't know why Apple would need me. They, they, I don't think they'd need me. I don't know why Google would need me. Maybe they do. Maybe they would. I don't know. iMac AZ. Oh, boy. $20 donation here. For the third year running, why do you think the Apple II is better than the C64? Ugh. This goes a long ways back. Uh, okay. So... I grew up with the C64, didn't have an Apple II, but <clears throat> why do I think the Apple II is better than the C64, even though I don't think that... Well, okay, I'll, I'll, I'll boil it down to this. Which company is still around, Commodore or Apple? Just saying. If, if the C64 was better, maybe Commodore would have been around still instead of Apple. So clearly, logic dictates that the Apple II was better than the C64. <laughs> uh, Leaky Hole Gaming asks on YouTube, will there ever be an Apple console game system? There was. Was it called Pippin? A long time ago. If there is, and I think we may find our way there, it would be in conjunction with an Apple TV, like the, the device that's out there today, and an iOS device, because you can AirPlay Mirror instantaneously. It's great. It's easy. Uh, it's simple, and you can game on a bigger screen. Ryan Underwood asks, are you and Dave Prowse ever going to do a phone or Skype interview? I hope. I'm really hoping I can get him to do a video interview, but I'd, I'd settle for a phone interview after I have a, like a list of questions like written out and, 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 and vetted and, and make sure I'm, I don't sound like totally stupid like I, like I sound like right now. Thank you, by the way, for your support of my stupidity. Rodrigo Gastal, will it blend? It will, and that blender, the uh, Blendtec blender that they sent has been the best blender we've ever had. I, I, no, no joke, it is awesome. Richard Downs, Chris, please do more unboxing videos. Well, I can only do unboxing vid videos as a hardware gets sent and trust me as hardware gets sent i will absolutely unbox the ones that you know people want to see unboxed i mean i could sit there and unbox like oh look it's a uh no one's wanting to see me even do this or unbox it right or like oh look it's a phone case here i am unboxing it no one cares okay maybe a couple people care that's just not my thing so i tend to uh, wait for interesting or bigger ticket items uh, to do unboxings uh, because i found that our over time, they tend to track better. Peter Fries asks, what was the hardest Lego set you ever built? Uh, the most arduous, I wouldn't say hardest, was the Death Star. It took a long time. And the next one that's probably going to take an equal amount of time is the Lego Ewok Village, which I have not yet started. I really want to, though. Uh, I, I, I have an idea of where I want to uh, stick it in my home office as well. The uh, Not in my home office, sorry. In the library or what is now kind of closer to the Lego room. <clears throat> We have another uh, Amazon gift card donation, $5. Hello, Chris. My name is Aram Mogadasi, and I would lo I really love your stuff. Sorry for the low amount. Don't worry about it. Uh, it's perfect. You know, the fact that you're paying attention is enough for me. But if you could just show this picture on camera, that would be awesome. Thank you again. All right, I think I can do that. There's a very happy subscriber right there, a very happy fan. Thank you, and I'm very happy to have helped your wish come true <laughs> through that. Uh, $20.14. Please shout out my new website. Okay, I guess I can do that. Mike Bagley. We have bagmandeals.com. Bagmandeals.com. All right. Next question here. Matt Allen, Chris, do you plan on having children? Yeah, I plan on it. Well, we don't really have any hard plans. It'll happen. Knock on wood. John Thomas Hill, in 10 years, where do you think mobile technology will be? I think uh, the idea will be that it's integrated uh, more in everything that we're doing. Like, you know, the, the way Google Glass is going. It's just going to be more pervasive, less invasive. Aaron says that he agrees with Josh. I, I don't know what Josh said. 
more context there. Um, when will you get a new car? Possibly in the next couple of years. I'm a big leaser. Uh, I, I don't really like holding on to cars because they don't have much value to me. Still, uh, wow, we've been going for about a half hour or so. I still got a few more questions I definitely want to answer here. Uh, Salif, or sorry, Saif Mahmood, what would you like to see in the iPhone 6 or the next generation iPhone? I, you know, I don't know if I have anything that I'm looking forward to other than better optimization for the software, which Apple still needs to work on. Kelby Molina asks, oh no, he submits. Uh, it's a $5 gift card here. I would like to get a shout out. And Chris, happy New Year's. You're the best. Thank you. I, I'm only 13 years old. This is according to Kelby. It's fine. Huge fan of you guys. And this is about, uh, you know, all I had for money. Dude, then why did you spend it on me? You'd have been happier with the sandwich. But that's okay. You got a shout out. And I hope that's happy. Uh, I see that you have two dogs named Wicket and Pixie. They remind me of my two dogs that died a couple of months ago. Uh, like a shout out and keep up the good work. Alonzi or Alonzi. I can never really say it the same way the doctor does. Uh, first of all, I'm very, very sorry to hear that uh, about your loss of, of your dogs. I know they're probably a, a part of your family. Uh, and secondly, thank you. I appreciate your support. Valentina Villarreal, how was life in high school? It was tough, but I survived. And uh, I know people out there have gone through tough times, especially with bullying. Uh, just know that it gets better. Frederick Vasquez, can I have a Mac for New Year's? You absolutely can. Just buy one. It's easy to do as long as you have the money. Eddie Ortega, do you miss being on TV? You used to love watching tech TV. I, I do sometimes, but this is very much like TV, only better because I get a chance to interact with you guys. And I didn't have this kind of live interaction the same way when I was doing TV. Granted, I'm playing like four different roles at the same time here. It's a little stressful, but uh, very happy to do this more than I was happy to do that, even though I've been happy both times. I, yeah, it's fun to do TV, just different. Happy New Year's from Georgia. Love everything you do. Timothy Murphy, $5 Amazon gift card. Thank you so much. Uh, thank you, Chris. Thanks for everything you do. A $25 donation from someone. Now, it didn't say who this someone was, but I'm just going to go to, since he sent a picture. Of, there's a lot of people who look like me, and I like that. There needs to be more Chris Perillo clones out there. What do you guys think? Which is your favorite doctor? $5 donation from Kel uh, Kelby Molina. Again, I thought, dude, an another question? Uh, my favorite doctor, Alonzi. It would be Tenant's doctor. Absolutely. Uh, thank you. And you did not, again, have to do that. Whoa. Saif Mahmood, the same one that I, I answered one of his questions here a few minutes ago, sent a $50 donation. And he just said, thanks for the great videos through 2013. Huge fan. Well, thank you so much. I really do, you guys have no idea. It really does help. Every little bit helps. I, you'd be surprised. Stephanie Hell, or I'm sorry, Stephanie Hall. My bad. Have you ever thought of renewing your vows dressed as Han and Leah? That would be kind of fun. I'd welcome that. Maybe, I honestly, I'd probably, at that point, I've got a Stormtrooper uniform. It's a little, I don't, it chafes. Uh, I may, I, I would spring for a Darth Vader uniform at that point. Jeffrey Campbell, have you ever done a vlog not wearing pants? I have, no, well, yes. I, you just didn't see that. Uh, I didn't do the full vlog, just part of it, uh, segment. Eric Ledford, uh, would you consider doing a podcast? I would, and I have in the past, but unfortunately, I don't think that uh, many people really listened or tuned in, so uh, I just stopped doing it altogether, and uh, yeah, for, for whatever it's worth. So I tried, but I just maybe I just didn't have the right thing, whatever that thing was to get people listening to the podcast. Thomas Lopez, will you be having another iPad mini giveaway so I can be in it? I follow you on Instagram. My name is Darth Samurai. Uh, love that handle, by the way. Uh, the only type of people I seem to follow on Instagram at this point are people who, uh, toy crew buddies. I don't know if you follow that hashtag. Um, people who post, I, I'll just show you the kind of things that like I post, uh, like I did uh, today, a Stormtrooper happy new, in a happy new year cap. Uh, there's a stormtrooper on top of pretzels. These are the photos for me. Uh, Slav made us some bacon-wrapped ribs last night. Delicious. Uh, there's me playing around with the stormtrooper. This kind of... I would subscribe to myself, and that's the type of content I like to create, even live content on YouTube, stuff that I would want to watch in general. How long is this live stream? Asks Aaron again. Uh, it's as long as you guys kind of want it to be, although I should probably start winding down. It's been about 40 minutes. The last night's stream was an hour long. I wanted to make sure I answered every one of the questions and uh, c c uh, covered everything that I covered last night for the most part, even with all the technical difficulties, because you deserve that. I realize it's a long video, so thanks again uh, for paying attention to this point in time. Uh, we've got an Amazon gift card from 
Jessica Mayorga, thank you. Uh, and she's asking, when will Diana be making beauty-related videos on her own channel? Um, I don't know if that's going to happen anytime soon. I think we've been pretty happy with the direction of where Perillo picks is going, at least at this point in time. It may change at some point as our family kind of grows and extends itself. Uh, so it, it could happen. Uh, but at this stage, you know, I, I think the Perillo picks in conjunction with the vlogs may cover not exactly every bit of, of that type of approach to doing things in relation to our lives, but it, it, it's getting there. So stay tuned. That's all I can say, and thank you for your support. Kyle Nichols, may you have a new year filled with Darth Vader and geekness. Well, thank you, Kyle. I plan on it. Thank you for the $10 Amazon gift card donation. Kelly, or I'm sorry, Kelby comes back. Can you follow me on Twitter? And thank you, uh, the respect you had for the passing of my dogs. Well, you're welcome, but dude, you can stop donating. It's great. Thank you for your support. I appreciate it. I really do. Uh, and in terms of following you on Twitter, I can't promise that. But uh, here's what I can do. I can throw your Twitter handle out there somewhere and say, Hey, Jose, 77743, I saw you in a Chris Perillo live video. There you go. Everyone, you guys, if you want to take a look, maybe he's doing stuff. I'll take a look, but I can't make any promises. I, I really, I don't want to make any promises, but I will take a look. Thank you. Uh, I got, there are a lot of people, see, I, would, I wish I could follow everybody back, but I can't because I, my stream would be completely different right? You know, the, the things that I like may not be exactly the same things you like. So it's great when our worlds intersect and maybe you're doing things that I really like. And that's the kind of stuff I, I, I like to follow, uh, generally speaking. So I will take a look. I do promise you that. $15 Amazon gift card from Ashton Barrett. Hey, Chris, happy new year's. My 12 year old brother has just started uploading Minecraft videos to YouTube. He loves watching your channel and wants to start doing what you do. Hey, you absolutely should. He's amazing, by the way. I can't believe he built all that with blocks. I know. I, I Minecrafters are really amazing. The people who do uh, Minecraft videos in general, or just Minecraft, live in that world. They, 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 they amaze me. Fire Miner, there's how you spell uh, his name or his username on YouTube.com, Fire Miner. So uh, thank you for uh, uh, you know doing what you do and keep doing what you do. I don't know how I'm going to inspire you because I don't do any Minecraft stuff because I get car sick. $5 donation from Sam Klein. What do you think of Windows RT and the Surface RT? Kind of talked about this before, but not a fan. I think they need to drop it and start over again. Surface RT is overpriced, and Windows RT is, well, I'll just put it to you this way. Microsoft seems to be the only OEM interested in creating Windows RT devices. <laughs> That's all I'm going to say about that. $2 Amazon gift card donation from Ben Werner. Follow me on Twitter. I can't do that, but I can give you, and I kind of explain why, a shout out. Ben Werner with an underscore at the end. There you go. Really simple. Thank you. I appreciate your support. 50 cent donation. Sorry my gift is small. Don't worry about it. No such thing as too small. Uh, he just wants people to check out his channel on YouTube, and he is PS Lover 9 PS Lover 9 P.S. So that'd be PlayStation? P.S. Perillo Super. No, that's a horrible P.S. I just started watching your videos and just can't stop watching them, says J.J. Kinsdale with a $5 Amazon gift card donation. Really like your Tix clocks, but I'm having trouble finding them online. Where can we find them? And also, could you explain how they work for people who may not know? Also, can I have a shout-out? You, there's your shout-out. The Tix clocks here. The inventor was murdered. Uh, in just a random uh, murder in San Francisco, I found out after interacting with him, and he kind of dropped off the radar, and I found out he was murdered. Uh, they're not binary. You can see there, there's a one, nine, six, nine. So I, I can basically count one, two, three, four, right? So from this, right, this, this clock right now, since there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven greens illuminated. Three blue, or, or yeah, three blues and two reds. That's uh, okay. Now I'm sorry. They're eight, eight thirty-two. So you just count how much uh, or how many lights are illuminated, and that's the, the digits place, right? So it's eight thirty-two. Uh, that's not the right time, but I have I haven't reset the ticks clocks in quite a while. I don't know if you can get them online. Maybe secondhand, uh, possibly through other vendors. I used to get them through Amazon. I think I have like one spare in the basement because I knew inevitably it would blow. Um, so, <laughs> I love this. Uh, that, that's the explanation of the ticks. Unfortunately, I can't help you uh, beyond that. Uh, Andrew Epperson sent $5. Hey, Andrew. Chris, will you hire me to answer the repetitive question you get asked just joking? Uh, no, I can't do that. Uh, I, I, I wish I could. But I, I can answer repetitive questions as long as, uh, I, I don't, uh, 
It doesn't get the best of me. Andrew's also on Twitter, although I don't have his handle there. Uh, Andrew Gilfillian sent a $5 Amazon donation. How long do you hope to continue daily vlogs? And if you can change one thing in the past, what would it be? It's a non-tech question. I love non-tech questions. Um, I do hope to continue daily vlogs until the day I die, and then hopefully they will continue beyond me. If I could change one thing in the past... Oh... One thing, God, uh, how much would I? Ch I wouldn't change anything, right? Because my life would be completely different today than it than it is, really. Um, I don't know what I would change, because any one small change could just be, you know, monumentally catastrophic. Monumentally catastrophic. It could be bad. So if I had to change anything, it would probably be something simple. I would have chosen. <laughs> No, I couldn't have chosen not to go to college because then I may not have been interested in the internet. Well, no, actually, it would have saved me a lot of money in student loans. Uh, oh, God. If I could change one thing, the things I would have collected as a kid or could have purchased as a kid, I'd still have kept in boxes. <laughs> Think about that for a moment. Worth a lot. Uh, we have a... Hang on. The, uh, oh, uh, holy cow, another $50 donation. Still getting them coming in here, guys, and I'm looking for questions, too, to answer. Uh, I just can't, I don't want to cut anybody off for the subservient Chris. So, uh, this, you guys are asking me these questions. I got to, this is the way I want to do it. This is the way I like to do it. Uh, someone sent an Amazon gift card. Uh, this is someone's dog that passed away two days ago and watched your vlogs with me every day. That's horrible. Dude, but you, it's a $50 donation, and I really appreciate that, but wow, um, I, I wish I knew the dog's name and your name, but uh, this is the dog. Let's so pull it up here. This is the dog. Um, and, you know, I, I, I totally understand where you are with dogs. I was looking for Wicked or Pixie here, but they're not here. Uh, I understand where you are. And, uh, you know, to me, a dog is a part of the family. And they're pack animals. I mean, you can, you can just see. Look at that dog. Look. I mean, resting safe, it looks like, uh, it looks like in, in someone's arms, possibly your arms or close to it. Uh, you know, dogs are... Very, very loyal, and I'm, I'm as loyal to uh, dogs as they, they would be to me. Um, but uh, my condolences, serious condolences uh, for your loss. Kelby comes back. <laughs> he keeps coming back. I get a shout. He wants a shout-out in the next vlog. All right, Kelby, <laughs> I'll give you a shout-out in the next vlog, which will be recorded tomorrow. Uh, take a couple more questions, then I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up. Uh, hi. Hi. Do you, oh, this, hang on, hang on, oh, this is good, hang on, so I'll finish this first question, hi, do you like the UK, and would you ever go back, yes, loved the UK for my time there, I would absolutely go back, <laughs> paper cut 2008 UK says, I would buy shares in Apple if they had a chance to go back, <laughs> oh, can I change my answer, I would, do, I'd do that too, <laughs> or Google, <laughs> you know, <laughs> I'd say Microsoft, but I would have lost money, uh, <laughs> so, uh, Thank you, everybody. Someone, uh, I'll, I'll leave it with the, this final question here. Uh, thank you, everybody, for tuning in for this almost hour live stream, answering questions back to back, taking your requests, being subservient, Chris, for you, doing what you guys want me to do. Uh, and I hope to do this. Some, maybe we can do this every week. I mean, we do the live stream AMA every week. I have another live stream coming up Friday for another An Intel Android tablet unboxing and an Intel Android giveaway. Next week, we've got another Amazon gift card giveaway, courtesy of go.tagjag.com slash free points, also known as feature points, easy to use on iOS and Android. You guys should start using that right now. One last question. Jonathan Boutros asks, Chris, when are you going to do what's on my iPhone? Uh, well, I plan on it, uh, possibly in the coming weeks. After I'm done with a lot of the hardware I have sitting on my desk, virtual desk, I will be moving on to doing those types of videos. What's on my iPhone? What's on my... It's like, like kill the phone. Uh, this is go.tagjag.com slash free points. I was just holding it up as kind of a screenshot. Uh, this is what you can use to earn your own Amazon gift cards, which you do with it whatever you want. Um, and you should. Be happy with life and whatever you put your uh, around you, whatever you surround yourself with. And I'm glad that you brought me into your life, if only for a brief while today. Um, so with that... Uh, I, I think that's pretty much it. I, I, uh, I, I thank you again for remembering to like, comment, remaining subscribed or subscribing for the first time if you love this kind of wacky zaniness that just happens at least once a week live like this. And, and of course, sharing the videos that we do, you know, with, with others. Happy New Year. Oh, you have to make your own sound effect with this one. It's a 
a Vader. Don't be a Vader hater. Don't do it. Ugh. Dang it. One more... Do I'm not going to say dang it. One more donation came in. This is what it's going to end with. And this is it. I have... Because I, I have to get... I, I got to try to wrap it up. 15 minutes. Who watched this entire video? Okay. If you watched this entire video, you use one word in your comments. If you watched this entire video. Um... I gotta give me a good unique word. Um, hang on. Uh, the the word you should use is aglet, a g l e t, aglet. Especially if you know what an aglet is, aglet. Use that word. This is the final donation for today. Five dollars. You're a big inspiration, Chris. From someone it says, uh, can you mention my vlog channel? Absolutely can. There's there it is. This is on YouTube.com. The Vlogging Network TV. Thank you so much. And I appreciate being your inspiration. Hopefully I am, you know, inspiring others to, to be themselves and be happy in life. There's a photo that was attached to the gift card donation. So I, that looks like a happy couple. Happy to be a part of your lives and keep things happy. And so until next time, I, I need a better sign off. Because when I say, we'll e you later, no one knows what I mean. e you later, like email you later, electronically see you later. Three-finger salute. It's a reboot. You know, control-alt-delete. We'll E you later.